Hi, welcome back to my video series titled 110% Proof Jesus is Not God. And we are talking about Mark chapter 13 verse 32, which is a theological problem to Christians and Christianity. That verse goes as follows. Jesus said, quote, But about that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, meaning Jesus, but only the Father, meaning God. So my contention as a Muslim is that this Bible verse proves Jesus, peace be upon him, is not God because he did not know the time of his second coming, but God knows all things. This is part five of my video series. In the previous four parts, I dealt with the different Christian explanations they come up with to deal with the problem of Mark chapter 13, verse 32. In this video, part five, I shall deal with the fifth Christian explanation. And that goes as follows. The Christians say that it's an issue of translation. The words does not know in the Greek can mean does not make known or does not reveal. Sounds like a clever explanation, right? Well, here's my refutation. This translation is based on the writings of Augustine of Hippo, who was a church father who died in the year 430 CE. His translation only creates more problems than it tries to solve because, again, it seems to imply that Jesus, peace be upon him, actually had the knowledge but not the authority to reveal that knowledge, the knowledge of his second coming, the time of his second coming. If Augustine's definition of not knowing, meaning not revealing, is applied to the whole verse of Mark chapter 13 verse 32, the meaning of the pas passage significantly changes. For the pas passage not only says that Jesus, the Son, does not know the time of his return, but it also says that humans and angels do not know it either. Therefore, if Augustine's definition of not knowing, meaning not revealing, is applied to the whole verse, the meaning becomes, quote, but about that day or hour, no human reveals it, not even the angels reveal it, nor does the Son reveal it, but only the Father reveals it." End quote. If we take Augustine's definition, the passage becomes clumsy and redundant. In other words, there is no need to repeat the fact that humans and angels do not reveal divine revelation. As this is common sense, we already know that only God, Allah, or as the Bible calls him, the Father reveals divine revelation. This is clearly not what Jesus meant. In fact, my refutation to the Christian explanation number three in this video series also refutes this Christian explanation. If Jesus said, as is recorded in John chapter 16 verse 15, quote, all that belongs to the Father is mine, end quote, then why is the authority of making known or revealing the time not the authority of Jesus, but that of the Father only? You see, this clever attempt of Augustine creates more problems for the Christians and exposes their polytheism even more. One blasphemy leads to another blasphemy, and this is exactly what we see happening here. Basically, the Christians have run into an inferiority problem. Jesus is not equally God with the Father. Jesus is not equal with the Father because Jesus does not possess the authority to reveal the time of his second coming while the Father does. Having authority is an issue related to having all power or omnipotence, which of course is a divine attribute. Naturally, God has the divine attribute of omnipotence, and Jesus clearly does not possess this. Therefore, he can never be God. It's as simple as that. Case closed. However, to deal with the Greek translation, you can go to many Bible translations, and you will see that the, word is tra the words are translated as, quote, no one knows, not does not make known, or does not reveal. Why did so many Bible scholars and translators translate these words as no one knows and not no one makes known or no one reveals? It makes you wonder. 
So in conclusion, I say that this Christian explanation is a very weak one and I have refuted it. I hope to see you next time in part 6 of the series, God willing, insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum, peace of Almighty God, Allah be upon you.